Hi, it's Maya here with my mid-year reading checking doing the now traditional mid-year book tag which was originally created by Earl Grey Books and Xiaomi. This means that this is also once again my channel anniversary or my channel anniversary was in the middle of July and I've had this channel for nine years now and a lot of those times that I've celebrated reaching this milestone I have done the mid-year book tag so let's just get started. The first question is best book you've read so far this year and I would say Paladin of Souls by Lois McMaster Bujold. This is an independent follow-up to The Curse of Chalion which was my favorite book last year in this very same tag. Both of the books work as a standalone but Paladin of Souls will spoil The Curse of Chalion if you haven't read it. Out of the two I would say my favorite is The Curse of Chalion but I also really enjoyed Paladin of Souls. Paladin of Souls is a high fantasy novel about Dowager Roina Ista who has been guarded and sheltered basically imprisoned on her family's estate for the past few years and now she tries to gain some independence. Ista leaves on a trip under the guise of taking a pilgrimage when she actually just wants to get out. She is not a pious pilgrim, in fact she has a grievance against the guards. With her on this pilgrimage comes a fun cast of characters. There's soldiers, there's a courier and there's a divine, basically a priest and they are sort of going through these guards' shrines but mostly Ista is just enjoying her time out. And there are demons and gods and curses involved. And I just find Lois McMaster Bourgeois' writing style so enjoyable to read. To give a sort of an honorable mention in this category, I would also like to mention Undercover by Tamsin Muir, which is a dark fantasy novella. It was part of the digital only Into Shadow dark fantasy collection from various authors. And in this one, there's basically gangs and zombies or ghouls and Tamsin Muse writing is just something that it just draws me in. I'm into her characters and her worlds and it's, she just makes it fun and makes me invested in a, such a short time. It was a novella and it took me no time at all to get invested. Usually something about crime families wouldn't sound like my kind of thing but I really enjoyed this. Question number two is the best sequel you've read so far this year and that would also be Paladin of Souls by Lois McMaster Bujold but to answer something else I would say 20th Century Boys Volume 2 by Naoki Urasawa. This is a manga series that really hooked me with its second volume. Um, in the series we follow this group of friends throughout the years as they get tangled with and start to oppose this mysterious cult which seems to be based on stories and games that the group of friends came up with as kids. So that is such a good premise and this volume really hooked me. I find Urasawa to be a master of cliffhangers and of these mysteries. I just really want to find out what's going on. I've currently read five volumes of this series and there's a lot more. And I really love how the story jumps between different times and gives us a little bit more information each time or just gives us more mysteries, whichever one. Question number three is a new release you haven't read yet but want to and I'm going to answer Witch King by Martha Wells. I'm waiting for this from the library. Hi, it's Editing Maya here. Soon in this video I'm going to be talking about this month by which I mean August which is when I filmed this video but then I moved and didn't have time to edit it before this. Now back to past Maya. Question number four is my most anticipated release for the second half of the year and that would be two books that both come out this month. So the first is A Guest in the House by Emily Carroll which is this horror suspense graphic novel from one of my favorite uh, creators. Emily Carroll has made shorter works before but this is a graphic novel that's over 200 pages. I'm really looking forward to it. And the second one is Thorn Hedge by T. Kingfisher. I really do enjoy T. Kingfisher's like fantasy fairy tale stuff more than her horror. The next question is the biggest disappointment and maybe episode 13 by Craig D. Louis. This could have been like really good. It's sort of like a found footage horror novel. It's about this group of ghost hunters for a TV show who go um, do an episode in this haunted mansion. I found the found footage or the video transcript parts to be very entertaining but then there were also journal entries for, from the characters and I found those to be very cheesy and I didn't like how they were written. Also the book was just too long. Question number six is my biggest surprise and a literal surprise was The Girl from the Other Side volume 12 by Nagabe because I didn't know this existed. Addition to an already finished series, it's short stories from the life of this monster and this little girl. They're doing stuff like laundry or drawing together. It was exactly what I wanted from this series. Another surprise would be The Crime Ring Chronicles by Ted Nafee, so volume 1 and volume 2. I read both of these 
And I really love the previous series of this, the Courtney Crummerin series. And I was a bit hesitant to get to this follow-up series, which follows Courtney's younger brother, because I found that the Courtney Crummerin series sort of lost its charm or lost something that made it excellent. The last few volumes weren't as strong as the middle volume, so I was a bit hesitant on how this was going to go. But I found these fun and entertaining. There were some things that were sold a bit too conveniently, especially with information that I seem to know from the previous series. But I'll forgive all that. I hope there will be more. So this is a graphic novel and this series is like a modern fantasy. You know, our world of magic. Then the next question is a favorite new author. So debut or new to me. And from the new to me authors I've read so far this year, I've really been enjoying works by, like I said, Naoki Urasawa and also K.J. Charles. So as I said, I read the first five volumes of Naoki Urasawa's 20th Century Boys and I want to finish that series and then if I love it, I want to check out more. And then I've also read some of K.J. Charles's historical fantasy romance. I've read the first two books in the Charm of Magpies series. So I want to finish that series and then maybe check out more. The next two questions were both character questions. There was the newest fictional crush and my newest favorite character. And I am a character focused reader, but I do not have an answer to either of these questions this year. But thankfully, there's still time to read this year. So maybe I will get a new favorite character. Question number 10 is a book that made you cry. And there is a chapter in 20th Century Boys Volume 2 that could almost work as a short story of its own. And it was really sad. I didn't cry, but it made me very sad. Then a book that made me happy, I'm going to answer again, The Girl from the Other Side, volume 12, because I just really enjoyed reading these little stories of the everyday life of these characters. The next question is the most beautiful book you've bought so far this year. And I have only bought two physical books this year. So those are Silver Nitrate by Silvia Moreno Garcia, which I haven't read yet, and A House with Good Bones by T. Kingfisher, which I have read. And both of these are very pretty, but maybe A House with Good Bones is my favorite when it comes to the cover. Then we come to the big question, what books do you need to read by the end of the year? And I'd like to read pretty much all the ebooks that I bought so far this year. But to showcase a few of them, I would say that I especially want to get to Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies by Heather Fawcett, Even Though I Knew the End by C.L. Polk, um, The Hands of the Emperor by Victoria Goddard. And I've also finally started reading Prudence by Gail Carriger. This is the Custard Protocol Book 1, a continuation to the Parasol Protectorate series. I have owned this for over five years, so I want to finish this. So those were all the questions that have been on this tag every year. But some years there was also the question of your favorite book to film adaptation that you saw this year. And I want to answer this question because this year we got Nimona, which is of course based on the graphic novel by Andy Stevenson of the same name. And I love the graphic novel. It's so much fun and it's also quite touching. And the animation was also very good. You have to watch it if you haven't already. So that was my mid-year reading check-in. And also my announcement that I have been doing this for nine years. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite book that you have read so far this year. And I'll see you in my next video.